Psalm 106. Praise the Lord. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. His love endures forever. Amen. Psalm 106, 1. Listen to this. Praise the Lord. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. His love endures forever. Let's continue to read. Who can proclaim the mighty acts of the Lord or fully declare his praise? Blessed are they who maintain justice, who constantly do what is right. Remember me, O Lord, when you show favor to your people. Come to my aid when you save them, that I may enjoy the prosperity of your chosen ones, <clears throat> that I may share in the joy of your nation and join your inheritance in giving praise. Wow, that is way to start off, all right? <laughs> praise and worship. I tell you, the book of Psalms is about praise and worship through and through. And the, the many different authors that are throughout the book of Psalms, whether it be Korah, Asaph, Moses, Solomon, even David, <clears throat> uh, there's just beautiful, beautifulness, beautiful imagery, beautiful from the soul, beautiful from the heart, from the mind, praise and worship back to the Lord. And it's just amazing, the faith that is shown and, and showing what is right, what is righteous and praising the Lord and knowing that the Lord loves us and we can love them back too. <clears throat> and so it just starts off just praising the Lord that I may enjoy the prosperity of your chosen ones, that I may share in the joy of your nation and join your inheritance in giving praise. That's right. We're all in a kingdom, brothers and sisters in Christ. We are all brothers and sisters in the kingdom of the Lord. And, um, you know, it's shareable. <laughs> Everybody's invited. So if you haven't, if you have not um, taken the opportunity to accept Christ, I hope and pray that the Holy Spirit, you listen for the Holy Spirit because the Lord's constantly talking. The Lord's constantly whispering to you or talking to you, giving you advice, giving you uh, counsel, giving you ways that to show that he is there. <clears throat> and so I encourage you, to pray even to continue reading with us and if you have wow aren't we excited i mean it's just amazing to know that through all these struggles through all of this that we go through in life even loving loving our neighbor and such that there is a reward there is something that is waiting for us i know and sometimes we feel like <clears throat> I was talking with somebody the other day and I was, you know, sometimes we get in our feelings and it was something like along the lines is like, wow, you know, the, I, the Lord has done so much. Do I, do I deserve all of this? And it can be difficult because we look back at our lives and we look at things that we've done <clears throat> Uh, ways we've spoken to people, things that, how we acted, how we presented ourselves. And it may not be something that we are proud of. It may not be a proud moment. It may be one of those regrettable moments that we may have. But do know that the Lord has forgiven you. The Lord has forgiven me. The Lord has forgiven us. And yes, we are worth it. You're worth it. I am worth it. We are all worth it. And so... It just makes you want to hug somebody, right? <laughs> just reach out. <laughs> it's time to hug. Time to hug your pet. Time to hug a person, your loved one, your uh, significant other, whoever it may be. And so uh, what kind of thoughts or feelings come to your mind when we read over this? How does it make you feel and what does it make you think? <clears throat> 